Hello spinning here on Pen Stock channel about pen spinning. My name is Alex Lanz and in this video I wanted to make pen spinning level system more clear for you spinners. The time has come. You can check trick level system by following one of these wonderful links in description if you still haven't. You know what? Bookmark it actually. Save it if you don't consider yourself a pro of course. It is not perfect by all means and I hope that this video will help me to make it better and uh, what's more important help you understand it better. For this purpose I asked you to ask Ask me questions about it on YouTube and in our Facebook group. And we will start with a Facebook group. So, I am a pro pen spinner now just because I know how to do pinky spread. High to a middle spread. Lol, 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 lol. But I am actually noob. Bruh. If you consider yourself a noob, so be it. I made up leveling system to help people navigate in a huge underworld of pen spinning. It determines tricks mostly, not you. You can do pro tricks, it doesn't make you a pro, and you definitely can be a noob forever. Just ask me about how to do it. Uh, bruh, game bruh, 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 everybody calling me a bruh. bruh. Bruh, I don't know why the triangle pass is level 3. Well, because it is harder than level 2 and uh, easier than level 4. Obviously! You know, leveling system doesn't work equally for everybody. We are all very, very different. You may find some tricks easier, some tricks harder. I'm just trying to be as objective as it is possible. Don't even refer to my own preferences so much. I mean, beginner tricks are more about momentum. In general, it is a basic move. They are not complicated and require pretty much one of basic skill is the charge or around. Triangle pass requires a good finger coordination. You also have to know how to keep momentum and it is really hard to make a, without a pen mod unlike beginner tricks. They are also hard, but not that hard. And if you do it slow, it's not a trick, just a bullshit. You have to do it smoothly for it to become a trick. Next! Jason Khalil. When do you consider yourself in the next level? I know many intermediate tricks and I know like 3 4 advanced. Which level am I? Okay, okay, here we go with a nice question. Let's establish it so. You can consider yourself a certain level when you can do at least 3-4 tricks from this level and about 80% of tricks from previous level. I think that's fair enough. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section, maybe you have some better ideas. Anyway, don't focus too much on your level. It is more of a trick level system. Speeders levels I needed for Tacon games, for battles. It was more helpful for me to organize some activities to separate noobs from advanced spinners, so everybody could have equal fun. Okay, next. What would my level be? It's hard to say by a single video, bro. Probably you are out of leveling system or as you don't really need it any anymore, I guess. Because levels are helpful for those who are in the beginning of their pen spinning journey. I might support this thing if it doesn't consider that master trick will make you pro. <laughs> it actually won't. Edit. Don't use this to consider yourself a pro, it's just like um, masturbating your own soul. I don't completely agree with the last statement, I don't um, fully understand what it means. But yeah, bro, don't focus too much on who you are. You can find it out by battling, taking part in Tacon games. The system is mostly for tricks. It is mostly to help you understand where you are in the pen spinning and where to move further. Initially I wanted to refer to tricks by names of levels and to themselves by numbers of those levels. So a pen spinner is a level 3 if he can make 4 intermediate tricks. To move to level 4 he needs to learn about 4 to 6 more tricks of his current level and 4 advanced tricks. When a pen spinner is at level 5 he can make at least 4 pro tricks. And after that the leveling system becomes kind of useless for him. He grows over it and the real pen spinning starts. Ok, those were questions from Facebook group, I hope I made things more clear for you guys. Let's continue with some of questions from YouTube community tab. Alex, I don't like your level system because I've met some PSers and they were calling themselves intermediate. Hold on, you don't like my system because you have met some pen spinners? Intermediate, but the fact is they can't do combo. I don't understand what does it have to do with my leveling system. And bro, let people move in pen spinning as they want. If they don't want to make combos just yet and just want to grow their trick library, that's up to them. Who are you to tell people what to do? To my mind, it is better for most of majority of apprentices to start to connect tricks together as soon as they learn them, but it's up to them to decide what to focus on and when. As for calling themselves intermediates or pros, it is not about trick level system. I'm not here to arrange people's level, it's up to them. Because levels here 
are only to help. That's their only purpose. What what those pen spinners you met meant that they are at level three. Okay? Does it sound better? We have already established that and if they meet conditions, so Admit that any level system for tricks is useless and often misleading. I don't admit it at all. I like systems. They make life in general easier, even though sometimes they are not perfect. Actually, they are never perfect. As for me, I really wanted to have something like that back then when I started pen spinning. As every time I opened the video tutorial, I had no idea if I was capable of learning a trick or it was way too hard for me just yet and I should not waste a lot of time for it just now and postpone for later. I've wasted a lot of time on learning, on trying to learn Flash Sonic before I was really ready to learn it. And the same went with some other tricks. So I wanted to have such a system and created a one which would have been useful for me if I had a time machine and moved back. And shame on you for trying to ruin something that someone tries to create in order to help people. Just because you personally don't find it useful. I don't appreciate such approach. Is it okay to skip a pen spinning trick in one level and learn a harder trick? Sure, it's only up to you. You can freely jump back and forth and in total you can ignore tricks levels and the whole system. It's only for those who need it and for me to make tutorials more structured. Unfortunately, my internet connection died today. I can't reach other comments, but hopefully I made it more clear for you spinners. And if you still have questions about it or have some ideas to share and to make system better, I'm all ears. Leave a comment, start topic in our Facebook group. Cheers.